In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a balance concept slide in PowerPoint. In this example, you can see here we are giving the preference uh, to happiness over the money and I've just created one small ball here which is the life and then these two things are balancing on that one happiness and money. So the happiness ball is a bigger one compared to the money one. So you can do a lot of different ideas with this particular concept and one more slide which i have used here you can see here i've just put like option a and option b instead of the oval shape i have used this uh, triangle one so you can do a lot of things with this particular concept so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes from the basic shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so that you get the perfect shape then shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can make it black you can see here then i'm going to add one hollow circle can you see this one i'm just going to add a hollow circle again hold the shift key you can see here let me just reduce the size a little bit and again i'm going to put it exactly in the center shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it a gray color for time being i'm just going to put this here then i'm just going to cut into three different parts for that let me just take the duplicate of this three you can see here then go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle just i'm just going to cut this much part you can see here this part i'm going to keep it and press ctrl d let me just rotate it so you can see here the one which is visible only that part will be i'm going to keep and the rest i'm going to delete so i'm going to select the hollow circle first hold the shift key select this rectangle under format merge shape you can say subtract and again hold the shift key and select this one and merge shape subtract you can see here i got this shape i'm just going to copy it here and I can change to white color. Then I'm going to take the second one, then I'm going to keep only the top part and the other part, I'm going to delete it. Again, go to insert. But before that one, let me just reduce the width. Go to insert shapes, rectangle, draw the rectangle, control D, again, rotate it. So I'm just going to keep only this much part. So select this then merge shape subtract again hold the shift key merge shape and subtract bring this one here you can see here shape fill you can make it white and if you want you can either add this one directly or if you want you can just make one more also go to insert shapes select the rectangle so i'm just going to cut only this much part i'm going to keep it again control d you can see here let me just tilt it again select this hold the shift key merge shape subtract again merge shape subtract so i'm just going to copy it here till this much and this also i'm going to make it white color you can see here let me just move a little bit tilt it and keep it here you can see here so this one i have not cut it properly so let me just delete this select this press ctrl d to duplicate go to format you can just you can see here rotate flip horizontal and just put it here something like this and then I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D and I'm going to cut halfway through. Go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, maybe this much part. I want to keep it again, subtract it, give a different color. You can give some gray color. You can see here and then just send this to back. Now I'm going to give uh, some kind of uh, soft edges to this. So I'm going to select this, right mouse click, go to format shape and go to effects. Under effects, you can see soft edges. You can just increase the soft edges. So this also, you can increase the soft edges. 
and this also you can increase it and for this also if you want you can increase the soft edges you can see here something like this and let me just bring it more down and if you want you can just increase the size so something like this you can uh, make it now I'm going to change the background color of the slide select the gradient fill you can see here so by default it is there which I've used and then I'm going to insert one more uh, rectangle here at the bottom you can see here shape fill I'm going to give the same color shape outline make it no outline and for this also I'm going to give some soft edges you can see here something like this and what I'm going to do is just I'm going to increase the size so that from the corners it won't be visible now I'm going to select this ball you can see here and go to format just say bring to front and just bring it here if the color is not matching then you can just give some uh, light color or some dark color to it maybe some let me just give some dark color later on we can just change the color if required so you can see here I'm just going to keep it here and then I'm going to add one more uh, oval shape here go to insert shape select the oval shape draw the small oval shape you can see here maybe this much size I'm going to keep it here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it wide and then go to the effects again soft edges increase it maybe this much so you can see here is a shining effect comes for the ball so it looks more kind of a, a 3d ball now so now i'm just going to select this press ctrl g to group it let me just put it here and then i'm just going to add go to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill maybe you can give some darker colors then go to the effects under 3d rotation i'm going to select this one which is the perspective you can see here something like this and then go to 3d format you can increase the width some width you can increase it and let me just go to the 3d format you can see here you have got the x rotation y rotation if i make it rotation like this it happens so if i make it y rotation then it becomes like this you can see here something like this this is okay and i'm going to tilt a little bit something like this and i'm going to place the ball here one ball here let me just change this color so that again it is not visible or i can make it more white also just send this to back so i'm going to place the ball here one ball here and press ctrl d to duplicate it reduce the size by holding the shift key you can see here and i'm going to place one more ball here and to balance this one either you can add one a triangle or i can use the same ball press ctrl d then i'm just going to change the color here you can see here maybe i can use some the blue gray color you can see something like this and this also right mouse click edit points i can just change the way it looks see here so i'm just going to copy this and still reduce the size you can see here and then send this to back so you can see here now it is balanced on this particular ball now it's almost uh, we have completed the task the only thing is we need to add some shadow effects so to add the shadow effect go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size you can see here let me just tilt a little bit shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it a black or you can select the gradient fill also for the gradient fill let me just select only two stop one stop i'm going to make it a white color the other stop i'm going to make it a black color and the type select radial and direction make it from center 
so from center the black should come here and the white should go here you can see here so I'm just going to select this color basically you need to select the color which is there on this and make it transparency 100% and this also you can make it somewhat less and then go to the effects and the soft edges increase the soft edges you can see here a shadow effect has been added let me just send this to back see Control D you can reduce the size a little bit and just add it here one more shadow effect and then you can add one shadow effect for this ball as well again just send this to back you can see here and then one big shadow you can draw it again Control D to duplicate this increase the size you can see here let me just go and make it more soft edges so this is tilting towards this one something like this also you can do it and the last thing is you can add your own texture go to insert text box i can just say for example happiness you can see here center align i'm going to use the font oswald increase the size and then you can add some detailed text here that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.